actually oh, bring next Monday night, but we don't have council next Monday night. Everything this, is done, so this week is all screwed up, yeah, because council yeah. meetings on different nights. Yeah, on Monday. And, uh, <laughs> and just when you come in, you can just... Uh, just the finance window. I don't know what day it is. Pam Dixon, my payroll clerk, sits right straight back. Little short little gal. What? 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 Just heard anything about it? Give it to her. Yes. Just put it back in the envelope. What? Aware what? Go it's it's a it's a re, it's a renewable ninety day period for the yeah. entry. Okay, so Keeps all that under lock and key. It's pretty Does it say that? It on my desk. It does okay. it does yeah. Yeah. Get to that and just the reason I wanted to nod, I, I didn't know that I was supposed to make that change. I mean, I don't see what the well, thing is about it where it matters here. You just told me this morning that. Well, probably it's because we talked about it last night and maybe oh, yeah. did not get word. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Work related or work experience with the state. And she's got to go to archives clear back to nineteen. I thought it, we never had it. It never ended unless yeah, we actually it was actually ended. I, but, I think um, what they wanted I to mean, do, and, which is fine, is to do that ninety days, and then we have to correct. 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 So she may have to. That should do it. She may have to change it to renewable. Thirty. You know, I said, you know, if you're not back in two hours, you know, down and see if that doesn't work. Fell on you. <laughs> so now this will the new computer system. This will eliminate. But you still have to keep the paper half or here. Not any uh, Actually, no. Once we no, no, no. That's that's we start not a problem. Yeah. Get the I get I get it up and going, and we get things scanned, and basically they will be in the uh, the electronic format. Um, I'm changing the legislation, making the nine days renewable. Once I scan. Um, the Ohio Historical Society who controls the sunshine laws and all that stuff uh, basically accepts that. And I think, See, it's got kind of everybody messed up. Dennis is losing stuff. Copies, but Nobody knows copies. what they're doing with these meetings on funny days. <laughs> Thursday meetings. Well, what, what time do you have to back up to a bag up to a yeah, yeah, we back up. We'll put it on our server, which backs up to another One server, which backs up to the cloud. So it's basically <laughs> <laughs> that's early. That's a little hard so to do. That's hopefully, early. You know, yeah. One of the three challenging, you know, cheap for six, but it'll end up being seven. Right. Yeah. But just in case, right. we'll have two backups <laughs> and with know, the, the main ones. Nice. Yeah, get to bed till twelve. But yeah. we may have to, we may have to keep Maybe paper. Maybe over in the second quarter, though. You never know. I think the Cavs are going to beat them that bad. I got right? Cavs in six. That's, that's what I said. I think the Cavs are all there. We'll give them credit for it. I said Cavs in six. I think LeBron can cover Durant. I think they cover all the players. Yeah, already lost. Yep. The old as long as as long as they don't. Go uh, cold elementary school. school. It used to be after it was like keep formally shut down, down for school purposes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just keep saying that. Keep saying that. Keep saying that. That was part of our archives. And one of the roofs caved in and oh, yeah. a bunch of stuff got wet. We lost a lot of stuff. And that, and Frank's hey, Joe. How you doing? Good. So don't make any difference. Still responsible. You look more comfortable today. Where's he going? Another copy of the legislation. I now call the Norton Special Council meeting to order for Thursday, June 1st, 2017. The time is 7 p.m. Please rise for Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silent prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May be seated. <coughs> Mrs. Richards, will you please call the roll? Mr. Casey? Here. Mr. McGlone? Here. Mr. Kernan? Here. Mr. Pearson? Here. Mr. Towsley? Here. Mr. Pilot? Here. And Ms. Whipke? Here. We'll get started right away on the new business. Committee of the Whole, Ordinance 55 2017. Mr. Towsley. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Um, 
Right now, uh, Mr. Markey is getting the revised uh, copy of that legislation for us to look at. So um, I guess I can, I'll make a motion. Well, I don't really feel comfortable making a motion until everybody sees the legislation. So uh, can we move to the next one or? You can go ahead and explain what he's doing. Okay. You mean? What we're revising. Okay. Or Ordinance 55 2017 is uh, legislation to hire Mr. Ken Caldwell as an interim um, city administrator. And what, what, all that's being changed in the legislation is uh, um, we've agreed to put a, a 90 day limit on the interim with a possibility of renewal after 90 days. So copy your jam, so we're getting them printed right now, but the, the two changes will be in the last whereas in the first section one, it will say for a period not to exceed 90 days, subject to reappointment and confirmation uh, at that time, essentially is what it says. Okay. So it's a 90-day period that could be reappointed at your, for future time. <coughs> and it would be, um, we can just go ahead and move on to the next one and come back to this one before we vote to actually put it on. I think either way is fine. I mean, if you want to wait for the language, that's fine. Or if you want to vote, that's however you want to do it. Mr. Okay. Cosley would be more comfortable actually having the language in front of us. You're, you're correct. I'm okay. fine with that. Okay. Yeah. Well, so we'll just go. I just wanted to give an explanation of some type. Yeah. Ordinance 56, 2017, Mr. Casey. Thank you, Madam President. I'd like to make a motion to add to the agenda tonight, ordinance number 56, 2017. Make it a second. I'll, I'll second, second. That. Mr. Kernan. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Casey? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. McGlone? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. Mr. Towsley? Yes. Mr. Pilot? Yes. And Ms. Whipke? Yes. And Ms. Whipke, I'll just make a quick note about this. This is a settlement of an uh, ongoing lawsuit we have with regard to the Cleveland Maslin Road widening. It's a license agreement to put a storm, water, storm sewer uh, pipe underneath the ABC Railway over on Cleveland Maslin Road. And so that license agreement, it's $1,000, which is what we pay for our water line, uh, one-time fee to be able to put that line underneath the railroad. That's and, what, and that's now sell the litigation. The litigation will be, uh, it'll be ended at that point. Terminated. And this also falls under the O.2080 or 1090. Correct. Yeah, like all right away acquisition, it would be covered by ODOT under the same percentage as the rest of it. So city's only paying its portion, its share. For anybody else's information, this is actually going under the tracks on Cleveland Maslin. Correct. And also, this for anybody interested, this keeps the sewers out of the neighborhoods um, right along um, that area. But, but the side roads. Correct. The, the side roads off of Cleveland Maslin and takes it more direct. Uh, could you explain, the, for the sake of the public, um, the need for emergency on this? Yeah. So right now, the, uh, the, we, we initially filed the eminent domain proceeding in, in state court. They were moved it to federal court under a federal statute. And... Uh, as part of those federal court proceedings, we have a stay as we attempted to try to negotiate a settlement. That stay ends on June 12th. You have no council meeting next week. So if that stay expires, we have to start litigating again, and that incurs additional expenses for the cities for the lawyers to start moving. And so to prevent that, we want to just have it done. And since we've come to an agreement, get it signed and move on. And initially they wanted a yearly uh almost like a fee to run that, correct? Yeah, yeah there was there was actually, we're, it's being a little reconfigured, which uh, we could talk about next time, the, the storm sewer system over there. But they wanted a, a big payment to run a, a line lateral to their track. And that's what we're actually, we're, we're abandoning that concept because that, that would be too expensive for the city. I think you did is make the correction. I was going to point out you need to specify if it's sanitation or storm because of the use of sewer. Yeah. And I, I mean, who did it? Mr. Towsley did, but let's be specific. Yeah, so it is storm sewer, Mr. Towsley. I think this idea of the, the sanitary sewer, that would be a future, that would be a future license agreement that council would have to agree on. Uh, I think as of right now, I, I think it's been clear your wishes to keep it out of the neighborhoods and all that, all that good stuff as, as we do sewer improvements 
for no, that? No, I don't think that we do have to prove that. Isn't it all under Barberton's hands of the agreement of August 22nd? Yes. And then does consuls null and void in that point? Right. Right. This is the correct thing. Thank you. Sorry, guys. We're running short on time. So why are we getting the two? They're the same, uh, it jammed, and Ron jammed fixed the jam. And I was also copying because oh. I didn't know how long it was going to take right. to fix the jam. So oh, okay. we did two of each. Oh, yeah. Ron was jamming. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Ron was jamming. Oh. <laughs> so can we need to move back to that? Excuse me. Do we need to move back to that? Yeah, we're going to move back. I just wanted to give everybody a chance to look this over real quickly. And then, um, where did you say this was changed at? Uh, the, the, sec the last whereas, uh, the end of the sentence, and then section one at the end of that section, uh, this limits the appointment to 90 days subject to reappointment and confirmation in both those places. Everybody's satisfied? Mm -hmm. Did they all read it? So if it's okay with you, Madam President, I'll move forward. Or I, I just have one, one question sure. before we go. Um, so this would actually cover for a term not to exceed 90 days subject to the reappointment confirmation. That would allow us to redo the 90 days because it doesn't actually right. say renewable. Well, exactly. And when I say subject to reappointment confirmation, I, I think renewable, right? So you'd have to reappoint and confirm again. Uh, for another 90-day term, but we could. There's lots of ways you could do the language. But I, think that, that, I think that covers it. It limits it to 90 days, but it could be a reappointment and confirmation at the end of that 90 days. You could choose 180 days at that time. You could choose 60. I mean, it just depends on what you want to do at the time. Okay. Since it um, <clears throat> in the charter it doesn't mention temporary, so I take it that all contractual items as far as compensation health and welfare, et cetera, but stand for 90 days as it's currently being placed. That's correct. So how the end, is, let me finish. At the end of that 90-day period, it could be revised, renegotiated, and changed. So the ordinances can always be changed. The uh, As they apply today, when the appointment occurs, is what, what the compensation uh, benefits, all that stuff. That will be as of today. If there's a different ordinance in place at the end of that 90-day period and you do a new appointment, a new confirmation, then, then the ordinance at place at that so time. So it comes out of removal, a new appointment. Okay, very good. Please continue, Mr. Towsley. Okay, thank you. With that, then, I'll make a motion to add Ordinance Number 55, 2017, to tonight's I'll agenda. I'll second. Mr. Towsley? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Casey? Yes. Mr. McGlone? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. And Mr. Towsley? <clears throat> yes. You forgot me, but yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll move on with the introduction of new legislation, Ordinance 55, 2017. Mr. Towsley. Thank you, Madam President. At this time, I offer Ordinance Number 55, 2017 for its first reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance confirming the mayor's appointment of Ken Caldwell as interim administrative officer pursuant to Section 4.01 of the Charter of the City and declaring an emergency. This time I make a motion to waive the second and third readings. I'll second. Mr. Towsley? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Casey? Yes. Mr. McGlone? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. And Mr. Pilot? <laughs> yes. And, and just for the public's information, one of the reasons we wanted to waive and move forward on this is because the current administrator will be leaving in eight days or so. Um, and we wanted some time so that Mr. Caldwell can shadow and come up to speed and, and get ready for that transition. So that's why we're doing an emergency, correct, Mr. Towsley? That, that's right. And I would add I'm, I'm not a, ever a fan of the emergency uh, language, but I, I do see the necessity here. 
I will preface my vote. I will support Mr. Cotwell, but I don't like the, as Mr. Tomsley's always mentioned already, the speed at which this is happening. I believe this should have been discussed slightly more and some changes made, but I'll support him for the 90 days, and that's the only reason. But I, I think these decisions being made fast, quick, one day, two day, is not to the advantage of the people of this community. But I will support him for the 90. Anybody else? Okay, well, that we did the roll call on the uh, emergency language, correct? Um, on the waiving? The on the uh, waiving, correct. Okay, so I'll make a motion to adopt Ordinance 55 2017. With the emergency language? Mm -hmm. Correct. I'll second. Mr. Towsley? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Casey? Yes. Mr. McGlone? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. And Mr. Pilot? Yes. <clears throat> Ordinance 56 2017, Mr. Casey. Thank you, Madam President. I offer the ordinance 56 2017 for the first reading. Madam Clerk, would you please read it? An ordinance authorizing the administrative officer to execute and deliver a license agreement with the Akron Barberton Cluster Railroad Company in connection with the Cleveland Maslin Road widening project and declaring an emergency. I would like to also do a motion to waive the second and third reading. I'll second. Mr. Casey? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. McGlone? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Decline the vote. <coughs> Mr. Towsley? Yes. And Mr. Pilot? Yes. I'd like to do a motion to adopt Ordinance 56 2017. I'll second. Mr. Casey? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. McGlone? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Uh, okay. Abstain. Okay. Mr. Towsley? Yes. And Mr. Pilot? Yes. That uh, concludes everything that we needed to do tonight. Our next regular council meeting is scheduled for June 12th. As Mr. Markey had mentioned, next week's work session has been canceled due to we don't have anything that to talk about at the moment. That being said, being no further business come for council, this meeting is adjourned at 7 12. Those things happen. Good night. Same. Yeah.